time of the year now you got people Good morning children. Welcome to Kabata Baptist Church Sunday School and today we're continuing with our lessons on the names of God. In today's lesson we'll be looking at God being the strong tower. So we're learning about the names of God because this is how God reveals himself to us in the Bible. So by knowing and understanding God's names, it will help us to know him better and therefore what he also expects of us. So today's lesson is God being the strong tower. How many of you know what a tower looks like? Or how many of you have seen a tower before? I'm going to describe it for you. So a tower is a very tall, high and strong building. A long time ago, cities were built with walls around them. And inside that wall, they used to have a tower inside. So in that tower, the soldiers used to keep watch of uh, the enemies from a distance. They'll be in a tower to check if they have any enemies coming into their town. So for cities that did not have towers, they would go to these cities that had towers to take refuge from their enemies. So the passage for today is Proverbs 18 verse 10. And the Bible reads, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. So what do we learn about God being the strong tower? The first lesson that I want us to learn is that God is sufficient for his children. So God is enough for his children. If we're looking for protection, we're looking for refuge or a place where we can find safety, we have no any other place that we can go to except to God. So whether we are tired or weary, we can take refuge in him. Or whenever we are being pursued by an enemy, we always run to God for safety because God is a strong tower. In the name of the Lord, God's children may be lifted up above their enemies and protected against their enemies. I'll give you an example. Imagine you're walking in the street and you are chased by a dog. What would you do or where would you run to? I know that most of you would run straight home. Why would you go home? Because you know that you are safe at home. And also there are people at home that are able to protect you against the dog. You have your mother there, you have your brother, your sisters and friends. So you find refuge at home. So in the same way, God reveals himself to us as a strong tower and we can run to him. So a home becomes like your refuge or your place of safety. So the children of God, whenever they are in trouble, they run to God for safety because God is their strong tower. They can run to God when they are in challenging situations. They can also run to, to him even when everything is okay. Why? Because they rely on God for everything. They depend on God for everything. Whether things are good or things are bad, they know that God is sufficient for them. Also, the second lesson that I want us to get is that God, God's children are safe and secure in him. But God will only be a strong tower to those who find refuge in him. The second part of today's passage, the passage that we're looking at, tells us that the righteous man runs to it and is safe. So who is a righteous person? So a righteous person is someone who by faith and prayer and devotion towards God runs, uh, runs to God for safety. This is someone who has been made right 
with God. That is what righteousness is about, to be made right with God by having their sins forgiven. So they have accepted that they are sinners and they need God to make them right. They need God to forgive them of their sins and only then do they become righteous. So these are the people that run to God for safety. So I have a question for you. Are you a child of God? So you need to think, even as we learn about God being the strong tower, you need to think about yourself and um, see whether you are a child of God. And how do you become a child of God? Like I explained, by you accepting that you are a sinner and confessing your sins and putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That is how you become a child of God. And only then can God become your strong tower. Only then can you run to God for safety. So in conclusion, what have we learned from today's lesson? We are challenged to check our hearts to see if we belong to God because only then can we run to God as our strong tower. And if we already belong to God, I'll ask you uh, to check your life and see if you are living right before God. Do you read your Bibles? Do you pray? Do you uh, seek advice from other believers? So I want you to check your life, see if you pray, if you read your Bible, because only then will God become your strong tower. So our memory verse will be the verse that we we are looking at today, which is Proverbs 18, the stain. And the Bible reads, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. I'll read it again. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. So, Today's lesson, we've been looking at God being the strong tower, and that is what I want us to remember today. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so grateful for today. We thank you for the lesson, and we thank you that in you we can find refuge and safety. We pray, O oh God, that you alone will speak to us and you help us to check our lives and see if we are your children or not. And that if we are not your children, that we'll be able to confess our sins to you and trust in you for our salvation. For so we pray and we ask for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The time of the year now you got people falling in love